life and death, fire and blood. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Return, and walk midst the living, ye who have departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Return, and walk midst the living, ye who have departed. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the voting fire. Fire and blood, life and death. I summon ye, whose blood I have brought. Fire and blood, life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. Fool. Kill him, Von Everix. For Olgird's blood. Sons, those von Emmerichs, eh? Who are you? The rogue you seek. Vladimir von Everick, brother to Olgird. Oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started it. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum, too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into Old Geard's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and all geared's. I'm here on a business. I'm a swining corpse. With no interest in important matters, yours or any other buggers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. Mentioned you like to enjoy yourself. Well, just so happens that's why I'm here. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. 
No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Listen, Old Gear gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid. Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to level and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I will go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Come on, we're wasting time. I'm not to waste time! Sir, time is all I've left. You this big a pain in the ass when you were alive, too? Do not anger me, boy. If I but one night, I want to revel properly, not watch others enjoy themselves. So what do you propose? I've an idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Geralt, wake up! Open your eyes! Where are the smelling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely, and so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes, as soon as I laid eyes on you, Promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Me! Shut up. I didn't say anything. Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to, then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm, there's potential in that. Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life, which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery! Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. What if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. 
Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, Sugar Mama. What say you we leave this dank crypt? There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're a Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. Don't change the subject, my sweet. If a grove's not to your liking, we can cut straight to the chase and make for the nearest haystack. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. The problem is, he turned me down. The crook-pated churl. Uh, don't call him that. But what choice do I have when he is a churl? I'd never say no to as fair a face as yours. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> the Haylofts we shall devastate together. We're just friends, always have been. Never professed your love. No heartfelt admissions, confessions. Never anything between us. You mean to say you never gripped those gorgeous... Ooh. Never cherished those beautiful, nay, stunning. So, soft in the head or the loins. Excuse me. Ah, a pederast. Fine, if it's not your flavor, you needn't taste. All the better for me. I'll see she's properly satisfied. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. A comely maid. You're quite the fool if you've not plowed her yet. Keep your paws off her. I'm to enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? This whole witch's life, what's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Those signs. I'd like to try one. What signs? Your Witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight. What I would rather is what matters. Bloody fine mount. Good stance. Powerful rump. Stable withers. Well, well. See so you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life, mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. Wow. 
What? Lost your nerve? Come on, Roach. Slow now. This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in, wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel's side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit! Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. And we must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. You see? Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool. But I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? <laughs> a big step, but I will think about it. For now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment. Then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense.
What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old hardtack. Luckily, you've got me. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone- Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions and a swarm of fair maids. But none compare to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. Oh, what a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my world, I'd do anything. Come. Time to meet and be greeted. I shan't. Delighted you made the long journey to be Time to say hello. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am uh, This is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings, the brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto, I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. Tell me, Aldona. How is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come. Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you, as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. We've chewed the fat enough. 
Time's a wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady, me. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. Get that cripple out of there! <coughs> Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. You see that, Shani? One pig penned. Peasants learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed, they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However, it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Here. Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witnessed such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. Does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag-stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Mm, tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. I woo and woo, yet you do not succumb. So I can't help but wonder, what am I doing wrong? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. 
I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, sir? <laughs> Shh, my dear. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? But really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? Then how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well. Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Vestry, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our da on his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you gonna do there? Talk some more? Naturally, we would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I grab the offense post. Geralt, you saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Fear eat your stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! <laughs> Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Fence boards. The perfect weapon for sweaty-ass swineherds. Perfect fit for your job, you plowing gentle fuck. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shave? Damned cretin creamed me. Embarrassing to take a licking from. Had enough peasant spawn. Thought yourself a match for a von Everett. A witcher. Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jack yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. <laughs> Your methods, quite unusual, to woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. A hazard of the trade, my love. I'm clearly a bit out of practice. But point out the next young miss, and I will gladly prove I... You've proven everything amply. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you're right. Come then. Ah, <sighs> so good to shake the kinks from one's bones. We must find more found your fun perch from which to survey passing bows. Bring me my shoe! Quick now! It's getting 
shameful. <laughs> I don't... <sighs> Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid'll be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bow. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the missing question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Oh my. Oh, there's more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Observe, Shani. My eyes are glued. Seems to think the slipping will be easy. He tilts a big tilt. Let's see how big the stroke is. That one's that pond sank in up to my armpits uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe and all the other shoes ever tossed in the lake always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret oh, that's quite the theory one founded in practice for instance I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over to don it of course Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Ah, that kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> in my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. Faster, faster till we expire. <laughs>
And now, a special treat for our special guests. The Witcher, Geralt, and his enchanting partner, Shun. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. a jig with you as its partner. Oh, how humble you are. I strive to be, yet should the need arise, I can strut as proud as any peacock. Mm, the perfect combination. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... Call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many, and not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all, though none to match your charms. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thinks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart, for you. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just... Next time, don't lunge at me like that. I'd had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time, I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> You're incorrigible. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. How I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Can't say what would have happened. Probably wouldn't have danced at all. Oh, really? Shut up! Shut up! You'll ruin everything! At any rate, I wash my hands of all my actions till the stroke of midnight. I see. Happened to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontaro Dim, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. Promise you this much, he never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Shani, the night beckons us not to jabber it away. The night is young. Come, let's do something wild. Come a swing with us, Witcher. 